Vikas Nagpur Dragon dot in, and it's time for benchmarks. I'm going to be quickly running some benchmarks on the HTC One X Plus. So I'll start with. Uh, let's see if I have Quadrant over here. I'll start with Quadrant Standard. And uh, before I go, let's look at the system information. Uh, now everything is known for uh, the One X Plus, but still we'll have a look at it. So it's an ARM7 processor, Vision 9. Uh, current frequency is at 1700 megahertz, which is 1.7 gigahertz is what is what HTC has been saying. Uh, you can see uh, the total memory. We have about one gigabyte of uh, RAM. Uh, let's look at the display. We have a 720 by 1184 pixel display and uh, the DPI is 345 by 342. So a little different than what has been quoted. Uh, if you look at the GPU, it is an NVIDIA GPU. So that's nice. We have uh, all the other GPU details over here. Let's look at the sensors. We have a lot of sensors over here. We have a rotational vector, we have a linear accelerator, we have a gravity sensor, a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetic field sensor. Uh, we also have an orientation sensor and a proximity sensor and a light sensor. So tons of sensors in uh, the One X Plus. Let's quickly go ahead and run a full benchmark. Before I do that, let me see if I have any other running applications. So nothing there, so let's run a full benchmark. So our benchmark is over, let's take a quick look at the result. So our device, which is the One X Plus, ranks in at the top of the benchmarks. It gets 7594 on the Quadrant Standard with a stock ROM, no customizations done there. So impressive performance by the One X Plus. Uh, let's quickly quit uh, Quadrant Standard. I'm going to run into Nina Mark right now. I'm going to show you what the GPU performance is like. So uh, let's run Nina Mark 2 and quickly have a GPU performance test. Again, I've never seen the meter in Nina Mark run so high. We get 56.3 FPS on the Nina Mark bench card. Really, really impressive from uh, the One X Plus. I'm going to quit that as well. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a full Antutu benchmark to set it up with the various other devices available in the market. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to run a full test. So you can see a 5 star rating from uh, the Antutu benchmark over here, impressive, impressive scorecard. You can see the CPU performance is at 6480, or actually 6840, GPU is at 1482 and uh, RAM is at 2284 or 2282 over here and input output is at 895. Really, really impressive score chart from uh, the One X Plus 11499 is the final result. So there you go guys, we'll be coming out with a full review as well as a camera test review for uh, the One X Plus. I'm also going to be showing you a lot of gaming on this device since it is an impressive piece of hardware over here. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. If you have any questions or queries or if you want to request something, please do leave them in the comment section below. You can visit our website at igan.in. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The link should be on the video right now. Do subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash igan, youtube.com slash igan.tv. For igan Network, this is Vindhaz Nagwal. Thank you guys for watching.